My name's Cheryl Terry and I'm a co-presenter along with Ben Sheridan for Leading and Sustaining Innovation in Schools at Learning2 in Tokyo. So our first question is where did your thinking about the relevance of the session come from and did you have any experience at your school? So our role as Learning Innovation Coaches is new at NIST International School, so our role has shifted. The focus is now less on digital literacy and more on supporting innovative practice. I currently have four learning innovation coaches at NIST, two in the elementary school and two in the secondary school. And Ben and I work together in the elementary school. As you can imagine, we spent a lot, a lot of time at the beginning of the year hashing out what our role entails and what innovation really means. I realize that innovation doesn't have to be this big and shiny thing, but we need to build on what we already have in place and celebrate the great things that are already happening. So George Kouros' definition of innovation resonated with us. Innovation is a way of thinking that creates something new and better. And we had many experiences this year that led us to, uh, to lead offering this workshop. We realized just how powerful our learning is and um, our journey is for others, as many schools are refocusing their vision and looking to the future. We're all considering what learning should look like to prepare students for an unknown future. But we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We need to learn from others who have tried things out and learn from their successes and failures and, lead, and learn from leading experts. So we started this year by creating an innovation committee, which we called Future Pathways. And we wanted to explore how best to lead our school and to make informed decisions about innovation. So anyone in our faculty with an interest in innovation was invited to join Future Pathways. And we started to research and connect with other schools and also experts we could le learn from. The learning innovation coaches, along with interested faculty members, started the journey by learning about launching innovation in schools through a MOOC offered by MIT through edX. We realized the power of learning as a cohort and learned a lot about moving from pockets of excellence to systemic change from Peter Senge and Justin Reich of MIT. So our biggest takeaways were on how best to bring the school together around a shared vision to move it forward and also not to operate from assumptions, but to gauge what stakeholders value, really value. So we'll be sharing our takeaways and the valuable protocols that we learned from Peter Senge, Justin Reich of MIT, Melissa Daniels um, of High Tech High, and also the work of Scott McLeod on building schools of the future. So we also learned a great deal from George Kouros and the Innovator's Mindset. So our workshop will be a synthesis of the work of leading experts such as these in innovation. Next question we had was, um, can I come alone um, or do I need to come with the team? Um, coming alone is absolutely fine. Coming with the team, you'd be engaging in, in this together and you'd have a shared experience to go back with. Um, but um, doing it alone is absolutely fine as well. Um, you'll be bringing the same scenarios, same sort of resources, etc., from your school to work through, through with. Um, it's just that you won't be doing it with a team of people, but we feel like uh, it, it should be just as powerful by yourself. Our next question is, how did we find our case studies? So our case studies were focused around the work that we've done recently at NIST International School. The Learning Innovation Coaches and the Future Pathways Committee at NIST have done a lot of work around innovation, which we believe would be of interest to other international schools. So we'll also use examples from the Launching Innovation in Schools MOOC and doctorate work from the University of Kentucky, as well as references to a number of books like All Together Now by Susie Boss, Coherence by Mo Michael Fullen, and The Innovator's Mindset by George Kouros. So our last question is really, really good question is how will this session influence what schools mean for students? And the reason that's such a good question is it's actually uh, pretty much at the heart of our session. So anything, any innovation, any change we bring to school, whether it be uh, specifically in the classroom or larger whole school, uh, should really be focused at how are we enhancing that learning experience for, for students. So um, if that's interesting to you, then definitely this is a session that you want to attend.